Cool boy. There we go. Dag on. We need to get some new lighters. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are having a better Monday. It sucked last night losing to the Green Bay Packers. But, you know, I think, and I have to double check it, but the Cowboys, I think, have only won one time in their history in Green Bay. I mean, we had the Ice Bowl. When I, I, I'm old enough. I, I, I was around. I don't remember it. But in my lifetime, we've lost in the Green Bay in the Ice Bowl. We've lost with the catch, no catch, you know, uh, against them. We, we've had some of the worst ones, the Matt Flint coming back 26 to three and beating us um the playoffs against them with uh, Dak you know throwing three touchdown passes we always have problems with Aaron Rodgers and stuff and it sucks I, I, I hate it I, I honestly and truly hate losing those games but the thing about it is the NFL is a week-to-week -week league you saw the Buffalo Bills lose to the Minnesota Vikings yesterday. You know, we've seen the Colts surprisingly beat Kansas City. The NFL, it's not about who is the greatest team. It's about who's playing the best at the right time. And our problems right now are actually stopping the run and also not understanding the game time decisions that you make, you know, the situations. You had a Green Bay team that was terrible against the run that Malik Davis was feasting on them, yet we threw the ball 46 times against a, a team that sucks against the run. That's where you look at it and say, okay, this is somewhat coaching, and it's also the players as well. But the Eagles, you know, the Eagles, the team that everybody talks about is the greatest team since sliced bread, and that the Eagles, of course, the Eagles... There's no stopping the Eagles. They're just great. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I said this. I remember saying this to my dad when I went to pick up the big sub, which they did not have. I said, well, dad, I said, you might be breaking even because I said, I got a feeling that the commanders are going to win against the Eagles. I thought the Cowboys were going to win against Green Bay, although I had some worry, especially after we didn't get the sub. But here's where karma comes back around. I was putting out there, I was putting out there the last play that we have the ball. The pass interference, that was clearly pass interference. And I broke it down, you know, I showed it and slowed down and everything else. And it's clearly pass interference that wasn't called. And it's funny because the Eagle fans have been trolling me and telling me, Cowboys just suck. You lost to Green Bay, man. Ha, 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 ha. You stink. You know, stop crying about the penalties. You just suck. Admit it. You just suck. And the, the officials missed the penalty. They missed the face mask. They missed a bad face mask on the Eagles. Didn't get called. It was a game-changing face mask because literally – he fumbled the football, Washington gets the ball, they score a field goal, although there were other mistakes that happened. But that was one of those cases where the shoe is on the other foot, and after you laughed and said, you know, don't blame the officials, well, you're kind of blaming the officials and pissed off. And it's amazing, and, and welcome back, Philly. It, welcome back. Welcome back, Philly. I'm glad you're out of jail now and that you're back to live streaming. And it was nice to see you melt down because I, I'll be honest with you. I've missed your meltdowns. I have missed your meltdowns. You know, you're my boy. It's nothing personal. It's only business here. It's only business here. Um, but watching that game, seeing the Eagles basically get run over by the Washington Commanders. To see the Washington Commanders defense out physical 
the Eagles. The Eagles were discombobulated. In that game, there was a 40-yard pass interference one that not sure it was really there. Not really sure it was there, but be that as it may. If that was pass interference, Lord knows the one that we had um, to end the game was definitely one. But be that as it may. The other thing was the, the commander turned over the ball right there on the 18-yard line. So you got a cheap score. Now, I'm not going to say that the Eagles are a bad team. I'm not going to say that. They do have some really good weapons. Tonight, shit happens. Shit happens, and shit happens to everybody. They can rebound next week against the Colts, although the Colts seem to have a little bit of mojo going now with Jeff Saturday that he seems to have changed the narrative with them, and they seem to be playing a little bit, although it was just the Raiders. It was just the Raiders, so there's that. But I remember last year, the Cardinals were the last unbeaten team. I think they started out, what, 7-0? and And then all of a sudden, they went kind of downhill. They did beat us in Dallas, so I can't say that they didn't do that, but they limped in the playoffs and limped out just as quickly. Not that we didn't as well. We at least competed. So, Eagles, at least, oh, thank you, football gods. Thank you. Now, at least, we don't have to listen to the Eagles fans talking all that smack. And now, Here's the other part of this now. Now that the Eagles have lost, it would have been great had we won yesterday. I'll be honest with you. It would have been great if we had won yesterday. But we didn't lose any distance with them. Now, all of a sudden, since the commanders kicked their ass, now they got to start worrying about the Cowboys that hopefully have Dak back and we're healthy and stuff, and worry about also the Giants. Because now... It's a real race. This shit ain't over. It ain't over yet. So shout out to the Washington Commanders. I wore um, goody goody out tonight. Okay, I yeah. It's shout out to to the guys that did you know uh, 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 the, the, the Commander song. Okay, I, I, I played it proudly. In fact, Cowboy fans, because every time it seemed like we played it tonight. Good things happen for the commanders. I ain't doing that shit for you no more, unless you're playing the Eagles or the Giants. Just say it. But congratulations, commanders fans. Um, Tyler Heineke, he's a gunslinger. Threw a terrible pass, but he's a gunslinger. And you have to now say, Carson Wentz, see ya, buddy. You're out of here. See ya. And um, Eagle fans, <laughs> <laughs> the way you trolled me, the way you guys trolled me, I love you guys. I guess it'll be quiet here this week. Oh, um, anyway, it is about 1130. I got to get up about five o'clock and uh, hit the road early. I may end up doing my uh, morning video on the road so I can try and get the road and get stuff done. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, for all you do. Shout out to the, uh, I think we had 1,200 or 1,300 people peek out during the stream. Appreciate all of you guys coming in at the end. Um, I'm trying to break up the, the, the stream, getting some of the key moments in there where Philly's melting down. But it's not letting me edit like I used to edit. I don't know if this is a new update where now you got to get an app or something or other, but I hate when they change shit on me. I, I honestly do. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. Remember, and, and let me say, I talked to Angela Morrison today. She gave me a call to check and see how I'm doing. And she says she watches me and things like that and says I'm so busy and stuff. And she's had some illnesses and things, but she's doing better. Um, definitely feeling better. And she appreciated the work and stuff that we did down there for her. She said the house is so much better. And Stuart's room is still the way it was when we were down there. Um, she said she needs to go through some of his stuff. But we didn't touch anything in Stuart's room. We left it exactly as it was. 
um, for them because they weren't ready to do anything on that. But I tell you, I really miss Stuart. I really and truly miss him and wish he were still here with us. And that's why I always tell you guys, tell the people that you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. And for me, one thing I, I used to always say is don't wait till I'm sick and dying and on my deathbed to come see me. Don't wait until it's my funeral to come and pay your respects. Because this is my biggest regret in my life is my brother Tony. I never made time to go hang with him. And now that time is gone. And I wish I had that time back. But you can't ever get it back. So make sure you take care of the ones you love and show them that you love them. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And um, God willing, I'll see you in the morning. Or in a few hours, I should say. Peace.